Hey guys, welcome back. We're turning up a Juniper Lab, so let's get over here. We are in EVNG, Emulated Virtual Environment Next Generation. I'm not going to talk about how to add software, add operating systems in here right now. For the time being, uh, we've already gotten a functional EVNG system, obviously, and we've already started a new lab, and we're going to add routers to this lab. Click on the plus sign, click node. If you have the operating system, it will be highlighted in blue. I have a CSR 1000V. Uh, I've got a uh, iOS 3750, excuse me, 3725. I've got XRV and XRV 9K in here. I've got Juniper VMX, Juniper QFX, Juniper VSRX Next Gen firewall. So, and uh, well, the virtual PC comes with it. So we're not going to be talking about how to add these operating systems into here. Uh, I'll try to do another video on that later. For now, when you're adding a Juniper VMX uh, router, you have to do both the virtual forwarding plane and the virtual control plane. Pick one. Let's pick two. We're going to do two of them. So change that number to two. Go down here, say save. It throws two VMX forwarding planes in there. Add another object, a node. Uh, we need two control planes. Virtual control planes. Add two of those. Save. Now we have two virtual control planes. Okay, when you connect these, you, you know, the control plane is the route engine inside of a Juniper VMX. And so uh, that's what this represents. And you have to connect these together. And when you do it, you must use EM1. So we're connecting the virtual forwarding plane to the virtual control plane. And we have to, to make this a single functioning router with a PFE, packet forwarding engine, and the control plane routing engine. You need to connect them with EM1. Save that. Okay. I like to rename these. Go to Edit. Right-click on it. Go to Edit. Uh, VMX. Virtual Control Plane. You can call it whatever you want. Router 1. You could get rid of the whole thing and just call it Router 1 if you wanted to. I'm not going to put too much thought into it right now. Virtual forwarding plane, router one, save, router two. Okay, oh, by the way, as you can see, we have Junos 17.4R1.16. All right. And you connect, now when you connect these routers together, you do it as if the PFE, well, it, you connected the, to the forwarding planes together. And so that would be, that would make sense. You're connecting the uh, line cards in a VMX, which is where your forwarding plane exists. So uh, this FXP0 might be the management interface. I'm going to jump down to G00, and we'll just connect G00 to G00. Excuse me. <laughs> G000 to G000. All right, we've connected them together. Highlight all of them, right click, start selected. Your routers are firing up. Click on it. There you go, it's booting. Now, when you control these routers, you control them. When you interface with them, you interface with them on the control plane. Kind of makes sense. You don't really get into these forwarding planes. I'll click on it just to show you. You could probably see the forwarding plane booting up, but it's some kind of low-level uh, operating system running inside of that. Okay? It might, it, it might be done booting up. Let me hit Enter. Mm, I'm hesitant to hit Enter because you might stop the boot process. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. There we go. That forwarding plane started booting up after all. You can see some of the... I can't even remember ever needing to get into this 
forwarding plane interface though. So I'm gonna get out of it. Okay, that took a few minutes for them to get done booting up. Uh, now here we are at the login prompt. Root, CLI is how you log into a Juniper box if you didn't know that already. Uh, we're already getting messages. And let's log into this one. Root CLI brings you to the CLI. Yeah, let's turn some of this stuff off real quick. Delete chassis auto upgrade commit. Oops. Config mode. Commit that. Oops. Yeah, config mode. Delete that. Commit that. Okay. And show interface terse. We have, oh, are we still waiting for the forwarding plane to come up in here? Show chassis hardware. Uh, admin show, oh, I'm thinking Cisco iOS XR. <laughs> uh, show uh, chassis FPC. Uh, I think we're waiting for interfaces to come up. Terse. There we go, gigabits. There we go. Uh, what do we got over here? Show interface terse. Yeah. Okay, and we're connected on zero, zero. So this one way up here, this is router two. Set system host name R2. Show pipe compare. Shows a pending, a pending change in the config. Oops, let's get into config mode. Uh, set interface. Uh, let's copy that, put that over here. Set system root authentication plain text password. Uh, Got to set the root password if you're going to save the config. We just want to get this lab proven that it's up and running. We go there's our pings back there well I just listened to some of my video while editing I am sorry for hitting the keyboard so hard <laughs> I'll try to work on that in the future hey I hope this was helpful quick down and dirty simple on how to add VMX to EVNG and get your Juniper lab up and running subscribe like it if you like it and we'll see you next time